Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. James Z, the Fresh Pharmacist, and today we're actually gonna go over the neti pot. You know, the little nasal rinse thing to make sure you get all the goop out of the nasal passages. Anyways, the reason we're going over it is because a couple people over the past few years may have used it improperly and ended up on the late night news. So in order for you not to have that same bad outcome, let's go over a few of the tips to make sure you're using it properly. Follow along, stay tuned, and let's go. So you know what I just realized? Many of you may not even know what a neti pot actually is. So it's actually a salt water mixture. Like I said, just water and salt. You allow for the mixture to go from one nasal canal and drain out the other, taking along with it all the impurities and like we said, contaminants, environmental pollutants, which cause most people's lives to be just a pain from day to day, or even just season to season, or sometimes chronically all year long. So a neti pot can actually be a cool, non-medicative approach to treating or clearing out the sinuses. However, it must be used properly to make sure that you don't have any long-term infections that can have bad outcomes with it. So step one, incorporates the different types of water that you wanna use in your neti pot before rinsing. So the first one might be the easiest for some to come by. It's basically distilled or sterile water. You can actually get that from any of the supermarkets or stores near you and it'll say distilled or it may just say uh, sterile water. Any of those are fine to use before rinsing with the neti pot. The second alternative is the use of tap water, but wait, 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 you gotta make sure, and this is really important, you gotta make sure that you boil the water for at least three to five minutes. By boiling the water, you can make sure that you have gotten rid of any of the bacteria or amoebas that may be floating around in your tap water before it goes up into your nasal passages and up into your brain and hopefully not killing you over time. It's happened before, so that's why it's really important. Make sure you boil your water, because if you don't sterilize your water, it can end up in a deadly condition known as primary amoebic meningocephalitis, which is a horrible condition to have to try to describe the title of. So how about we just boil our water now, and I don't ever have to repeat that name ever again. Sounds cool? Good. Let's move along. Also, if you have water filters that can get rid of certain amoeba, bacteria, viruses, things like that, you can use that to clean your water before using it on your neti pot as well. Okay, so now that we know the basics of how to get the water right for use in the neti pot, only thing left to do now is to get it done. So it's time to get it started. We are gonna go with the start of the show. You got your neti pot with boiled water, by the way. Again, boiled, not regular tap water, and you wanna make sure that it's back to being lukewarm before using it. Do not put boiled water in your nasal passages. So you just need one packet. Go ahead and mix it together. All right, so you just wanna get one packet mixed in. Okay, now that we're ready, last thing on the list, bottoms up. Okay, so now that you're ready to do your rinse, you wanna kinda of just squat down, lean forward, and get your head tilted at least as much as you can to at least to where it's parallel to the sink or wherever you're doing the rinse over. Keep your mouth open so you can breathe easier. And then after that, just go with the rinse and allow it to flow through the other nostril and out the side. You got your snot rag and you're good. <laughs> All right, that's over with. I feel pretty clear for the most part. But then again, I don't really have any nasal issues, but maybe you do, so this might be something you wanna consider. At the end of it, you wanna just make sure if you have any solution that's remaining, go ahead and discard the remainder. Also, make sure you clean it after each use of your neti pot with maybe one drop of dishwashing liquid or even just a little bit of a baby shampoo. Just wash it all the way out thoroughly. And then also, you gotta remember, every three months, replace your neti pot, buy a new one. Do not keep the same one for the next three years. Three months, toss it out, buy a new one. Also, if you're having any sort of nosebleeds or fevers or headaches um, after using the nasal rinse, see your healthcare provider too with those cases. So that's the basics of how to use a neti pot. If there's any questions, hit me up. So till then, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's your boy, Dr. James E. The Fresh Pharmacist. I'm out, peace. Wow.